Hey everybody, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. This is Abhay and in this video we are going to create the onboarding section of our app. So whenever a user installs your app for the first time, you want to welcome your user by giving some brief information about your app. So that's what we are going to make in this video. So here is the demo of the app that we are going to create in this video. Here as you can see we have an uh, animation of the background. We have a gradient effect that uh, have a very beautiful animation. Then we have the circular image view. We have head heading of our app or you can say the name of your app. And then we have little description about your app. And at the bottom we have this uh, dot indicator that indicates what page you are on. So now what you can do is you can swipe it to the right side and here you can see the background color changes and we have a new theme. Here we have a different heading and different description and here we have uh, the dot indicator shifted by one. Now here we have the new one here the changes it changes the background theme we have different image heading and this uh, you know different description as well. And finally our last page here and then we have this continue button and when user press on this continue button user redirected to the main screen of your app. So this is the thing that we are going to create in this video. So let's see how we are going to do it. So the first thing that we have to do is first of all let's create a new project and select empty activity hit next and the name of the project so we can simply say on Boarding app and hit finish. So here is our project. Now if you remember we have a circular image view. So we are going to use a third party library for this circular image view and then we have this dot indicator. So we will be using two different third party a, you know library for uh, this uh, image view circular image view and this dot indicator so let's go to the google chrome and here you can go to this uh, website here it says circular image view so here we have the dependency for circular image view so go down and here you can see here we have this dependency so simply copy this from here let's go to android studio inside this uh, gradle script and app level gradle so here you have to paste the dependency so simply paste it okay so this one is for circular image view now let's go to this website here it says dot indicator now let's go down and see what we have to do and here we have this dependency so you simply have to copy this from here Let's go back to Android Studio and paste it here and then press on this sync now button so that it downloads everything. Yeah, so we are done with the circular image view and then this is a dot indicator. Now let's actually start building our app. So now let's start with creating our background. So what we have to do, we have to create multiple gradient backgrounds first of all. So let's go to the resources inside drawable, right click on it, go to new. Then here we have this drawable resource file. Click on this. Now here uh, let's call it gradient background 1. This is going to be our first gradient background. Click OK. OK. So instead of selector, first select shape. So now let's write gradient and the first of all we need angle of our gradient that is on what angle we have our gradient and this thing is going to be the multiple of 45. So the first one is first, five, first time the angle will be 45. Okay, this is the angle then we have start color now start color is going to be we have color code of 006600 which is a green color and then we have end color and let's simply select white for the yeah end color 
so this is going to be the first gradient background and we will create a three uh, you know background for the same layout so let's go to the project right click on this go to new drawable resource and let's call it gradient background 2 and let's copy everything from here and paste it over here so what we'll do will simply change the angle okay and that's it we are done with this one and let's create the last one because we'll create three gradient backgrounds in order to have the animation so driver resource file gradient background 3 and so it is going to be same copy it from here and paste it over here so let's change the angle to uh, maybe 2 to 5 and here let's exchange the start and end color so start color is going to be 6 times f which is white and then this is 006600 and this is going to be the last one so here we have three different uh, background or gradient background and we have to animate them so for that we have to create one more drawable resource so right click on this go to new and here let's create drawable resource file and let's call it gradient animation and let's call it one two three because it will animate gradient background one two and three that we just have created so let's call it gradient animation one two three and hit ok so first of all we have to change it to animation list this one okay now inside it we will create item and inside this item we have the drawable and what drawable so the first of all we have gradient background one this is the first drawable and what next we have to set the duration for the animation and it takes a millisecond as a unit so we have 2000 millisecond although you can play around with this uh, time and you can choose whatever suits you the best okay so this is the first item and similarly we have three different items so paste it but instead of gradient background one we have gradient background two and three and let's change the duration to be 3500 which is 3.5 second and similarly for this so here we have the gradient background and the animation as well so now let's go back to activity main.xml and here first of all we don't need this text view so get rid of this and here set the background to be gradient animation 1 2 3 this one and also let's change it to relative layout okay now let's go to the theme of this app so here in the values themes click on this here what we have is here we have material component as a theme with dark action bar we don't need any action bar so theme dot app compared dot light dot no action bar select this one now let's run the app and see what we have so here is our app up and running and on the top we as you can see we don't have action bar and as the background we do have the gradient finish but it still doesn't have that animation because we still have to do some work in order to make it uh, you know in order to have that animation so what we have to do is first of all let's go to main activity.kt file so first of all we have to give id to our layout that have the gradient background so we'll give the layout id and let's call it layout1 this is going to be the id of our relative layout now let's go to main activity.kt so now let's find it in this uh, main activity.kt so val relative layout is equals to find view by id and this is of type relative relative layout and then we have r dot id dot layout one this was our id so the next thing that we need is we need an animation drawable so val animation and here you can see we have this animation drawable okay now we have to cast the background of relative layout as the animation drawable 
so relative layout dot background as animation drawable so the background is now casted to animation drawable now here we have to add the logic for our animation so what we will do is animation drawable dot set here we have set enter fade duration click on this and we have to set the time in milliseconds so let's go with 2500 which is 2.5 second and the next thing is uh, we have animation drawable dot um, set exit fade duration and let's set it to be one millisecond although you can play around with the numbers and you can choose whatever is best for you and then we simply start the animation drawable so animation drawable dot start and now let's run the app and see if we have our animation working now or not so here is our app up and running and you can see this time we have the animation in our background so till now we are in the good position okay now let's get back to android studio now we are done with our first gradient background but if you remember we had four different gradient backgrounds okay now for creating one background with animation we have to create four different drawable files so here first three is gradient background one two and three which create which have different gradient backgrounds and then we have this gradient background one two three which uses all these three uh, you know drawable resources file and then combine it in one okay so these four drawable files create one background but in total we have to create four backgrounds so let's do it okay first of all close all the gradient backgrounds that we don't need now also the process is going to be same for all backgrounds just we have to change the colors so go to drawable go to new and drawable resource file i am going to call it gradient uh, background 4 okay we have background 4 because we already have 1 2 3 so let's start from 4 and click ok and things are going to be same so i can simply copy it from gradient background 1 so copy it and paste it over here okay now here we just have to change the color so we i had some of the colors already written so we are going to use this color also here we have all the headings and description pre-written just to save the time so here we have all the colors so simply copy the first color go to android studio and just change the color okay now let's create one more go to drawable right click on this new drawable resource file and then we have gradient background 5 and let's copy it from here and paste it here just change the angle so here we have 135 just make sure that this thing is multiple of 45 and we need one more background so right click go to new drawable resource file and we have gradient background 6 so copy this and yeah this thing is same just change the angle so we have 225 angle and also reverse the color so copy this and paste it in the here and we have 6 time f which is white color okay so we are done with three different gradient backgrounds and we have when we need animation for them so again go to drawable go to new drawable resource file and let's call it gradient background and this uses 4 5 6 and click ok now here let's go to gradient background 1 2 3 and copy everything from here and paste it here and we just have to change the drawable so instead of gradient background 1 we need 2 3 uh, okay not 2 here we need 4 then we have 5 and then we have 6 so we are done with the second background as well now here we have to create two more backgrounds so i am not going to show everything step by step i am just fast forwarding fast forwarding the video now because 
all the step is exactly same we just have to change the colors So here we are done with all four gradient backgrounds. So here we have this gradient animation 10, 11, 12, which was the last one. And if you go to the project mode here, you can see we have tons of drawable resource file. So here we have this animation 10, 11, 12. We had this uh, a one, two, three. And okay, this thing is called gradient background four, five, six. So let's uh, rename it to gradient animation. We have gradient animation 4, 5, 6 and similarly here also we have this gradient animation. So go to refractor rename here let's change it to animation instead of background. So here we have four different animation with four different backgrounds. Okay so first of all let's close this because we are not going to use it right now. So let's open up our main activity and then what we have to open here we have to open our layout okay. Now inside this layout the first thing that we need is we need a view pager. So view pager can be easily used for our purpose here we have to slide our content from left to right and view pager is exactly for that purpose. Here you can see we have the screen on on the left side we have something on the left or on the right side we have something and we can simply scroll it from left to right or right to left and we have different content over the screen that's what we have in view pager so let's create that here we have view pager so select this one and width is going to be match parent and height is also going to be the match parent and let's give it id so idea is a simply view pager nothing special now the next thing that we have to do is we have to create the custom layout for the view pager so let's go to the project here in this layout right click on this go to new here we have this layout resource file and let's call it slider and hit enter and this whole process is very much similar to that of recycler view because in recycler view we also have to create the custom layout and then we had to create the adapter and here also we will be creating adapter for the view pager. So first of all let's change it to relative layout okay and if you remember in the end product we had the image view then we had the heading and then we had the uh, description of, of the page okay so first thing that we need is we need image view and that also circular image view so what you can do is you can go to the dependency of this circular image view and here if you go down here we have the usage so what you have to do you simply have to copy it from here and paste it okay so obviously we have error because we don't have this profile image instead we have to use our own image. So what I had did is I had downloaded some uh, you know sample image that I'll be using in this project so you can go and download it from the internet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy everything from here so right click copy and paste in the Android studio so in that inside this project and we have to paste it in drawable so right click on this and simply paste click ok ok and we have all these things pasted in the drawable so what I'm going to use I'm simply going to use gfg this image ok ok the border color is going to be white although it is not noticeable here because we had back, back, white background as well but it will be noticeable once we have our original background instead of uh, 
we have this with 96 dp let's change it to maybe 120 dp okay that will be less let's change it to 150 dp and uh, width is also 150 dp okay let's also make it center horizontal true and let's give the top margin uh, maybe 100 dp okay so this is the image view now the next thing is we need the text view so here we have text view and we had a uh, width wrap content wrap content now let's set the text and text will be geeks for geeks geeks for okay so this is the text let's change the size uh, so size will be 20 sp maybe and style text style will be bold okay let's change it to 30 sp yeah also center horizontal this as well true okay this will be always below the image view so first of all let's give it id so i'll give id okay not this okay here it's already have the id so instead of profile image i'll call it simply image okay and this one will be always below the image and will give a little top margin so top margin of 5 dp so this is the text view and also i'll be using different font and it's up to you if you want to use different font and then go ahead otherwise it will be good if we simply use the default font so to use the you know custom font what you can do is first of all go to the this website here we have this fonts.google.com and select your favorite font so let's say if you want to use this font so here what you can do is you can download the font family so i have already downloaded it so let me show you now here we have that folder of font so open this folder and here you can select whatever font you want so I am going with this uh, this uh, noto regular dot otf file so you simply have to copy this so copy this and let's go to the android studio so here in the project mode here we have the resource so what you have to do right click on the resource go to new here we have android resource file now resource type for this is uh, going to be font and file name is also font now here you can see we have this font okay we don't need this so simply get rid of the file inside it now inside this font folder we will paste our own font so right click on this and paste it and make sure everything is in small letter and click ok so inside the font we have this regular noto regular dot otf okay so here is our first text view now we need a text view for the description so first of all let me copy everything from here so first of all we don't want it to be uh, you know size will be default okay size will change the size but we don't want it to be bold and also let's change the text size to 20 sp and text will be uh, the text that I have so here I can simply use this text that I have already copied so paste it over here so first of all make it in the center we have text alignment and center this is the first place and then give the padding of 20 dp and then give the top margin as well so uh, we have uh, okay we already have margin top let's give the top margin of 40 dp okay that won't be enough let's give it to uh, maybe 80 dp yeah this will be fine so here we have everything in place now let's change simply change the font family of this we want our own which is noto regular so this is our font okay so we are done with the layout that we have to create we just have to change the content of our layout now the next thing that we will do is we will create the adapter for our view pager so go to the name of your package right click on this and kotlin class and let's call it 
view pager adapter okay here we have our view pager adapter and this thing will extend from pager adapter yeah okay now it will show error because we have to implement the members implement them so here we have our methods get count okay get rid of this and then we have this method is view from object we will be back to this method in a moment okay before that what we need is we need to we need to have context so we will add it as a parameter of the constructor so val context which is of type context okay so this thing it will be in the constructor of view pager adapter now the next thing is we'll have a layout inflator so where where layout inflator and this is of type uh, layout inflator obviously and can be null initially it will be null only okay so here we have our layout inflator now if you remember in the actual app we had image views we had four different image views for four different uh, you know pages and then we had four different heading and four different description so we will create array arrays of image then we have an array of heading and then we have an array of description okay we have to create an array of all of them so let's start with creating the array of image so we have val img array and this is equals to array of so it will have the array of drawables so r dot drawable dot gfg this is our first drawable then we have r dot drawable drawable dot dsa okay this is our second one and then we have r dot drawable dot this one is called coding these are the name of the image and then the last one we have r dot drawable dot excel this one is the image for ms excel so here is our image array now the next thing we need an heading array so val head array and this is equals to array array of and it will have the array it will be the array of string so the first thing that we have is we have geeks for geeks this is the first heading then the second heading was dsa course and then the third heading was the interview prep and then we had the last one which was our excel course ms excel mx excel course so we are done with the array of heading then the last one which was array of the description so we have uh, array description okay this is equals to array of now here i simply can copy it from here so this was our first description so simply copy this and paste it this was our first one and then this is our second one okay now the third one this is our third one copy it and paste it and then the last one which is this one. copy this and paste this as well so here we have array of image heading and the description now the next thing here we have this get item count so this will simply return the count or the number of pages that we have in our adapter so we can either return the length of array description head description or image description that will make the same thing so let's simply return head array dot size and like this we are done with the get count now here we have this method called is view from object now here the return type is boolean so what we have to do is we have to return true if the view is equal to the object so what we can do is we can simply do return view is equals to copy this thing 
so copy this and we have to cast it as our root layout which is the relative layout so if this whole thing is true then it will return true else it will return false so this is the role of is view from object okay now next thing next thing what we have to do is we have to um, we have we need an overridden overridden function which is instantiate item now here in this method instantiate item what we will do is we will first of all connect this layout that we have created with the view pager adapter the like we did in the recycler view and then we attach the this description that we have in our layout with the description array then we had the heading of our here we have heading we will attach it to the uh, this head array then we have the image view array so this is what we have to do in this instantiate item okay before we do that we have to set the id for them so let for the heading text view we will set the id id will be txt head and similarly for this description text view id will be txt description okay now let's get back to our instantiate item method now here okay get rid of this first of all we will have the layout inflator that we have created above so layout inflator is equals to context context dot get system services now here we have to get the layout inflator service which is context dot layout inflator service and we have to cast it as the layout inflator so like this we have our layout inflator now let's create the view okay we have val view and this is equals to layout inflator dot inflate what we have to do is here we have to search for this slider xml file that we have created so r dot layout dot slider and the next thing that will pass in the container which is the view group and then attached to root will set it to false so this thing is very much similar to that of recycler view also we have to make it null safe yeah so we are done with the view now the next thing is we will attach or this array of description array of heading and array of image with the layout so first of all find them here while img is equals to we have view dot find view by id what here we have the image view r dot id dot image okay, it is not showing let's go to the slider and see the id okay id is image only so r dot id dot image okay yeah it found it here well okay we have txt head is equals to okay first of all copy it from here paste it here and let's change it to text view first of all and this is r dot id dot txt head and similarly for description as well so this is description and this is also r dot id dot txt description so here we have all the three views now let's set everything according to the array that we have created above so img dot set image resource here we have to get the image resource so we have an array of image so img array here the position will be this position that we have over here so position okay then we have our text view so txt head dot dot text and this is equals to we have array of text head array we have head array now the position will pass in the position same for the description so txt description dot text is equals to the name of the array was array description array description will pass in the position which is position so like this we have we have our layout with connected with the adapter 
okay now in the end we simply have to return our view so return view so we are done with instantiate item now the last one which was destroy item so that when we are done with swiping it will destroy the content of the view pager automatically here what i will do is container dot remove view we have remove view and here we have to pass in the view and that view is passed here as object so copy this paste it but we have to cast it as the relative layout and that's it we are done with the adapter now let's get back to activity main and initialize our adapter so here we have our layout so the first thing that we'll do is we'll have to initialize the adapt view pager so let's define it over here private late init bar let's call it view pager we have view pager okay and then we need the adapter as well so private late in that war we have view pager adapter of type adapter now let's uh, you know initialize them so view pager is equals to find view by id r dot id dot view pager view pager this was our id then we have the view pager adapter view pager adapter is equals to view pager adapter then we have to pass the context which is this now view pager adapter view pager dot adapter is equals to view pager adapter now let's run our app and see if this view pager is working or not so here is our app up and running but right now we don't have the content of the view pager adapter so uh, let's see where is the issue okay let's go to view pager adapter and inside this method instantiate item before we return the view we have to add this view to the container so container dot add here we have add view we will add the view okay now let's run the app again and see if this time it is working or not so here is our app up and running here you can see we have this layout over the view pager and if i swipe it to the left side okay the content is also changing this is the second element of the array we have different image view different heading and also the different description now let's swipe it again okay this is the third one and this is the fourth one okay so our view pager is working fine but the next thing that we have to do is we have to change the background as we swipe it to the left and right side so let's see how we are going to do that okay so let's go to main activity now here in order to change the background when the page is changed we have to add page change listener to the view pager adapt view pager so view pager dot we have on page change listener okay this one click on this now it takes object and then we have on page change listener now let's implement the members we need all the members okay now here we have three method on page scrolled on page selected on page scroll state changed what we are interested in we are just interested in this method on page selected so get rid of this this and this so now let's see first of all how this on page selected works so what i am going to do is i am going to simply log a message so the tag will be simply tag and the message itself will be what is the position so position dot to string okay so this is the same position that we have over here now let's run the app so here is our app up and running let's go to the log cat and here we have our tag okay now let's open up the emulator now let's swipe it now here you can see we have one which is the current 
position or the index we have 2 and then we have 3 so this is how the on page selected works okay now here we can use the if statement for okay if uh, page selected is 0 we need a different background if page selected is 1 we need different background and so on so let's uh, comment or log now if we have position is equal to 0 then in that case we have to set the background relative layout dot background and this background okay we don't need this we need set background resource and what we have to set we have to set r dot drawable dot gradient one two three this is what we need and then we simply copy everything from here and paste here so this is the condition when position is zero now let's copy this and paste four times for four different condition now when a position is one what we have to do we have to set the background resource as gradient animation 456 okay and similarly when we have position equal to 2 in that case we will set the gradient animation as 789 and when the position is 3 which is the last one in that case we will set the gradient animation okay of this gradient animation as 10 11 12 okay so we are done with this but here one thing that you can see is we have these three lines of code common every time when we have the animation here four times and here as well so what we can do is we can simply create another method and just call that method instead of writing these three lines again so outside this on create we have fun and let's call it add animation what it takes it takes animation drawable okay so simply copy last three line from here and paste here so instead of writing these three line we can simply call our function add animation and pass the animation drawable created above so copy this and paste here and then here and here also and the last one is okay now let's run the app and see if we have our background changing when we scroll the view pager or not so here is the app up and running now let's slide it to the right side okay the background is changed now let's swipe it to the right side again okay the background changes here as well and the last one okay yeah so the background is changing perfectly now the last thing that we have to do is we have to add the dot indicator that will indicate on what page we are so let's see how we are going to do it so let's go to activity main dot xml and here what we need is we need a frame layout frame layout and width is a match parent and height is going to be wrap content okay now let's give the id as bottom layout this is going to be the id of this frame layout and inside this we have a relative layout width is match parent height is also match parent okay now here when we had a view pager this view pager will be always above this frame layout which contains the dot indicator so it will be always above this frame layout which is a bottom layout okay yeah and this will be always aligned parent bottom so aligned parent bottom and set it to true okay now inside this relative layout what we need is we need the dot indicator so go to the google chrome first of all here was the page where we had the dependencies of dot indicator now here let's see how we have to first of all use this so let's go down and here 
this is what we need in our XML file. So you have to copy this. Let's get back to Android Studio and paste it over here. Now dot color, let's change it to white and the selected dot color will be simply black. So here you can see we have at the bottom this dot indicator but we have to make it in center so we have center horizontal let's make it true and also we have to get some give some bottom margin to the frame layout so bottom margin let's give it uh, maybe a t dp okay so it is here and this will be the perfect position for our dot indicator now what next we have to do we have to see how to add functionality to this dot indicator so let's get back to this page and here if you go down so here it says in your kotlin code you have to paste this now here what it did first of all it initialized the indicator so let's do it copy this and go to the main activity and paste it over here okay so here is our dot indicator and it is of type so it is of type dot indicator yeah it is fine and let's see what is the next thing that we have to do here if we have to initialize the view pager then the adapter that we have already did then we have to set adapter okay we have already did and the last one we have to set the dot indicator dot indicator dot set view pager and we have to pass the view pager so copy this piece of line and here paste this so dot indicator dot set view pager is a view pager now let's run the app and see if we have the dot indicator or not so here is our app up and running and as you can see at the bottom we have the dot indicator so let's swipe it to the right side okay our dot indicator is updated again swipe it to the right side and yeah this thing is working fine so we are almost done with our app but the last thing is when we are at the last page of our onboarding section we have to make a button appears over here and when the user click on that button user will be directed to the main page of the app so let's create that button so uh, let's go to the activity main and out after this dot indicator we need a button so we have button let's make it wrap content wrap content and let's give the text over button will be simply continue okay so this is the text over button make it center so we have center horizontal set it to true and give the okay this will be always below the dot indicator so layout below we have dot indicator okay now let's give some top margin so we have top margin of 5 dp okay let's give it 10 dp yeah and initially it will be invisible so we'll set the visibility to gone okay now let's get back to the main activity let's initialize first of all this button so to initialize we need id ID will be simply BTN. So let's go to main activity and here we have val button is equals to find view by ID of type button and then we have r dot r dot id dot button. Okay, now here we have button. You have to set the on click listener on button on your own and we have to make it visible. So when we are at the last position, we will make this thing visible. So button dot set visibility. Okay, visibility is equals to view dot visible. Now let's run the app again and see if it is working or not. So here is our app up and running. Now let's swipe it to the right side and then the last one and here we have the button so you can press the button and go to the main page of your app so that's it we have created our onboarding section of the app 
so that's all about this video in this video we have seen how to uh, you know welcome your user with creating a beautiful onboarding screen or onboarding you know section for the app so that's all about this video and hope to see you in the next video